Hey everyone, it's Henry. At Mosey Mo's. Good afternoon. <laughs> it's actually one o'clock in the afternoon. I've been sleeping late lately. Um, I've been really busy, so I deserve a little bit of sleep. Anyway, today I'm going to try and get my bagger system shoot grass delivery from the mower deck done today. As you know from a previous episode of part one, getting a John Deere 38 inch bagger system to fabricate and to fit on my Toro 616Z zero turn uh, lawnmower. Uh, I love this lawnmower. This lawnmower is a definite keeper for me. I use it to mow my lawn. Uh, this is my personal machine and I absolutely love it. The only thing that it was missing was a bagger system. Uh, this thing is from like the uh, late 80s or early 90s or something, so I don't even know what the bagger, the original bagger system looks like. It kind of looks like one of those bagger systems from like a Toro 825. I've had actually two or three of them, but it never occurred to me to try to use the chute to see if it fits this mower deck, you know? Uh, I almost think that um, the Toro Wheel Horse 1238XL or 8X. HXL uh, chutes might fit this exact opening, so I'm on the lookout, obviously, for that chute, you know what I mean? In the meantime, I went and dug out an old MTD um, upper chute. I figured this is also 8 inches in diameter, you know, wide, right? And this might help, well, 7.5, you know? But it, this part, this part actually fits into that part and it has a good curve you know what I'm talking about it curves outward more to give the wheel clearance so I might try to use a segment of this just so that it clears the wheel which is very helpful you know then I think I might have it worked out between there and around here this this bend right here chop this put that in there and this works out to be right there that curve right there clears the wheel so I can have it maybe low enough to be like this and then I wouldn't have to really worry about the grass getting up there because if this angle is too steep right the grass is just gonna bunch up over here it's not gonna be smooth going up there so you got to think about that too is that when I was mowing this yesterday right I saw how it comes out you know the, the way the thing is designed for the wind, not the wind, but you know, the, the, the path that the grass flows out of. It kind, kind of blows out a lot, like upwards, you know what I'm saying? So that's good. So with a lot of air, with upwards motion, you know the grass is gonna be able to move all the way through there. Obviously, the wider the diameter of the, the, the pipe, the chute, the more air is gonna be able to go through to pull the grass clippings into the bag, you know? So I think it might work. So the only choice I have really is this uh, John Deere 38 inch uh, bagger system lower chute because this is the only thing that I have that looks like something that would mate to this. This is an LT1000 mulch plug cover and it actually is about, is about the same length as this. So I thought I was gonna you know, try to adapt this, right? to fit on here and then made it to this. You know what I mean? I know you know what I mean. But being that, you know what I'm saying? This could actually kind of work, I think, you know? And then I'd kind of fabricate some other black plastic to go right over here to cover up these seams. And then I would have the length, I would have the isolation, right? But I would have to cut like this bottom part off because this bottom part off here, it, this is higher than this. This is only four inches between here and here. And this is like six inches. So I have to cut off like the bottom inch and a half or two inches of this thing here. This bottom part here is not gonna work anyway. So I have to cut it off because this gets in the uh, way of the blade right here. So if the blade comes, we just chop this off anyway. So I think I might have to cut this shorter to size, you know, in terms of height. And then try to figure out a way that I can 
mate this to that. And that might work. But this part dips in a little bit. See how it has this thing that dips down? Well, that this You want it to actually dip up because this is higher, you know? So I've got a lot of thinking to do. I'm basically just sitting here and wheels are turning, trying to brainstorm an idea for me to get this going. But I got to try, you know? It's been driving me crazy. I really want to get it done. So I'm going to be sitting here and thinking about it, and I'll show you what I come up with when I'm when I'm starting to do it. But in the meantime, I'm going to chop about an inch and a half off of this because no matter what, I have to do it. It has to be done. So I'm getting there. I've made this little flap to extend the chute, right? To be able to hook onto there. Plus I made a elastic thing that hooks onto there. I need to make a cover that fills a hole around there. I've cut this chute around there. This fits right over it. This looks like it could go right into there, but this needs to be raised which I planned on raising anyway, because the baggers drag on the floor. So I'm gonna now loosen these bolts over here, raise the bagger up like five, six inches, and see if that'll work.
So there it is, fellas. Got it taken care of. I had an old, uh, when I used to work for the airlines, we have suitcases that have this big plastic um, rectangle thing, plastic like that. And uh, you put it over your suit. If you have your suit inside your suitcase, you put it over it so that it doesn't wrinkle. Anyway, I had two of the three of those things and I just uh, cut a piece to fit over that area. Put some self-tapping screws here. I have a big bungee that is not really necessary, but it's there just to keep it more secure. As you saw, I also uh, cut a piece, drilled, put some bolts in there. There's silicone all over here to uh, make it solid when it dries. I made a uh, little hanger there that with a screw that holds onto it. I don't know how um, secure that is, but it's on here. As you saw, I had to chop a couple of um, shoots to get this to fit over it. I had to measure to make sure that I had clearance from the wheel not to touch the chute. As you can see, also had to cut it right there for this to fit. This actually fit in here pretty well. And I have some Gorilla Tape to keep it there. I couldn't raise this because it was just fixed that way. You know, it, it won't allow you to raise it anymore unless I had to put the bracket somewhere else, which you can't because that's the limit, you know, as you can see. Clearance of the wheel, right in there. Pretty cool, huh? I'm pretty satisfied with it. Bags do touch the ground, but uh, like I said, um, there's really no choice, you know? And uh, it's going to be grass, so rubbing against the ground a little bit is okay. I have seen baggers that are ju is just one huge, like, duffel bag, and it, you just pull it along the grass. I'm sure you guys have seen it, too. My cousin actually bought that, and he says it works great. You know, like a Santa Claus duffel bag, you know, you just drag it on the ground. And just attach to, to a chute, you know? So, uh, I'd love to give it a try. However, there's silicone still drying. So I'm afraid that if I start it up and get like grass fibers all in the silicone and that's no good. So I think I'm going to uh, wait until tomorrow to give this a try. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey everybody. I'm back. It's the next day. And my wife is actually now blowing all the leaves from the uh, underneath the cars on the street to the street so that I could suck this up later. Uh, we uh, have some leaves on the lawn. I'm gonna try and test it and see if this thing works. I'm gonna first start it up and then engage the PTO and see if air is freely moving through the chute and into the uh, bagger. So I'm gonna start it up now and see. I'm out of gas. 
<laughs> Bone dry. As you guys heard, it kind of touches that, but I kind of expected it because I didn't grind out uh, all of the bottom of that shoe. Just added some gas. And because I've actually never cleaned this carburetor before, even though it runs fine, I'm gonna put a little bit of deep clean in here. Oh, what the hell, let's just pour the whole thing in there. Had about a half. Deep clean, fuel system cleaner for my friends over at Lucas Oil Box. I'm gonna start it up now.
the chute kind of rubs on the blade sometimes when I go on an uneven area, but over time that blade will just shear it right off, you know? I'm gonna try doing a little bit on the street now. So I've got it on the street now. Let's see how much, all right. So look at here, you know it works. I lower, I, uh, when I first started doing it, I had it on the highest setting because I just wanted to suck up the leaves. I didn't want to cut the lawn, you know what I mean? But then uh, halfway through, I, I lowered it one notch. And as you can see, it still minces some uh, grass too. So I'm very satisfied, man. Honestly, I did not think this would work. Um, it is, of course, far from perfect, but you know what? It works, you know? Um, the bags do rub on the ground a little bit, um, but you know, you're, you're mowing grass, right? So it's okay if it drags on the ground a little bit, you know, it's not gonna hurt anything, it's not gonna hurt the bag. But I do plan on uh, sucking a little bit of leaves off the asphalt here, and that will drag against the uh, ground. But uh, I think it'll be all right, you know? As you could see, the, the over, not over spray, but over <laughs> the leaves that shoot over here do make its way into this area. This is the overfill area where this one's done it'll spill over into this area here this is actually a very cool little canal that they got that deflects the, the stuff over here this is the mesh part where it needs air to go through to come back out again you know so it's very cool I like it and I'm really surprised that it works so this is like the leftover stuff that I blew to the street and we picked up some to put uh, garbage right so this is the leftover stuff I just want to test it and see if it sucks that stuff up pretty well
So how about that, huh? Pretty cool. I'm stoked. It's a little lopsided, but you know what? It's holding. Look at that, huh? All that, and it looks like it's just gonna be one bag's worth, you know? Uh, our town, with our property taxes, because we pay so much property taxes, they supply you with a roll of clear plastic bags for the fall. They just throw it on your lawn every season, you know? <laughs> They'll charge you $1,000 in property taxes just for the bag. Let's see how easy this is gonna be. It's a, with my Black Beauty, right, I just I put it over like this. Not been so a little harder. It's a little drawstring on the back. Hey, hey, hey! Go all right. That was easy. Make sure you do this on your lawn because if you did it on your driveway, you'd have to sweep up your driveway again. You know. At least this mulch goes back into your lawn again. Gives it some nutrients. How about that, huh? And not only that, what's even more surprising is that the chute didn't clock. Even with my uh, Black Beauty bagger, it still clocks sometimes if it's a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? Usually from leaves. But this is this was okay. I'm pretty stoked. Um, I'm going to get a couple of uh, drawstrings, put them through here so I can at least have a, a handful of them, you know what I mean? Like this, but this one's busted, so I can just stick this through here and make a knot on the other side. And then I have a little handle. Here. So that's it. My fabricated John Deere 38 inch bagger fitted onto a Toro 6160 turn with really minimal work, you know what I mean? It was really tricky with the chutes and the, the way it fits onto the mower deck, you know? And it, it's kind of lopsided a little, but it holds and it works and that's what I needed it to do. That's awesome. Thanks for following along part two of this uh, John Deere bagger fabrication onto my zero turn. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Drove me nuts that it was crooked. So I got a couple of uh, I don't know, hangers, I guess you want to call it. Put two self-tapping screws there and that gives it some more stability. And now it's level, not lopsided. Feel much better now. OCD. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.